Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And namaskar to everybody. Namaskar. Such a wonderful audience today. I'm so fortunate to be sharing our knowledge today. So, ma'am, shall we begin now? Yes. I'm really waiting to be talking to our great teachers. Thank you so much, ma'am. introduce hum na Good evening, everyone, and welcome to an exclusive workshop on teachers training by Dr. Rashmi Tyagi. A very uh, warm welcome, ma'am. Thank you so much. Namaskar, everyone, the great teachers of the world. Uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here, ma'am. So, uh, okay. Dr. Yeah, Rashmi, ma'am, uh, I would, uh, you know, I would like the audience to know that Rashmi ma'am is a master CBSE uh, trainer and she has um, she is a gold medalist from IIT Roorkee. I'll introduce myself to get the teachers inspired and motivated to do something great in life. Is it okay? Shall yeah. I do it on my own? Because I'm with my teachers right now. Yes ma'am. First of all, I salute my teachers as usual because I am proud of all of you. And it is uh, my proud privilege and it is uh, my proud privilege to be sharing this platform with all of you. And uh, the today's topic, the classroom management, it is close to the heart of the teachers and you really want to excel in teaching, learning and the classroom is exclusively the space of the teachers and I want to mention here that during the pandemic time you have brought the schools to your homes so I really don't know that uh, how much I'm going to teach you. It's not that I'm going to teach you, but but it is like sharing with you because already you know so much. But still, this topic is uh, you know always a little bit of uh, I can say it gives trouble to the teachers because why it gives troubles to the teacher because there are so many students in the class and to handle them and to bring their focus on the studies. It is uh, not that easy. And actually, we are like, uh, you know, performers. As you might be appreciating the performing art, maybe of a dancer, maybe of the characters in a cinema. But we teachers, we have to perform each and every day in our classrooms and we have got beautiful audience in, a, in our classes and we have to handle it. And I just want to tell you about the transformations. Lots of transformations have taken away in the educational arena. All of you know that overnight, you know, the transformations have come after the pandemic. See, these transformations were already in the offing. Dheere dheere se transformations ho hi rahe the. 
एज वी स्टार्टेड विद ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी तो हमें पता है बदलाव तो आ ही रहे थे लेकिन पेंडेमिक के बाद ऑल ऑफ अडन दीज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन है ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट सेंचुरी स्किल्स ऑल ऑफ यू नो अबाउट दैट दैट इज द कम्युनिकेशन बिकॉज कम्युनिकेशन हैज टेकन द सेंट्रल स्टेज इन टीचिंग लर्निंग प्रोसेस सो कम्युनिकेशन is important and i i say the digitalization of education has taken place and then collaboration see communication collaboration creative thinking critical thinking and problem solving i am talk telling you about the 21st century skills ikisvi shati mein bahut sare badlav aaye aur unme jo स्किल्स उभर कर आई है वो यही है कम्युनिकेशन कॉलेब्रेशन क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग देन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड क्रिएटिव थिंग सो ऑल ऑफ यू आर ऑलरेडी नोइंग दैट एंड नाउ वी विल कंपेयर द ट्रेडिशनल टीचिंग लर्निंग सिस्टम ऑल ऑफ यू आर फॉलोइंग दैट दैट द टीचर इज एक्सप्लेनिंग शी इज ट्राइंग टू कवर द सिलेबस एंड देन यू हैव गॉट Three hours exams. All of you know that, and the students have memorized everything, you know, friends. And then they are going to write it. So those kinds of standardized exams were taking place, and then they were getting marks like hundred percent, ninety nine percent, ninety eight percent. And when the student was going for an interview in a big company. Then what they were showing? They were showing their scholastic result. जो आपने उनको result card बना कर दिया है, वो सबको दिखाते रहे हैं. Whether it is an engineering, medical, 12th standard or whatever, if they go somewhere for admission, they are showing their results. But now the question is, my dear teachers, whether this type of assessment just dependent on the note learning or memorizing is it really giving a right picture to the employers about that student because marks are not important in 21st century the skills are important different types of skills are important and for that i will give you one example see i have gone to a uh, you know foreign country uh, for these educational conferences and we have met many big companies ceo there and there was one aviation company i mean airlines then they said madam we don't want the students with having iq more intelligence question is okay but we want more the emotional quotient so if they want the more emotional question they are wrong or they are right they are right because they said that if our passengers in aeroplane of our airline company are traveling from one place to the other place and all of a sudden the hijacking of the plane takes place then what the ceo whom you have taught is going to do tell me what he is going to do is he going to get nervous or he is going to say no i can handle the situation so that is why emotional quotient eq is more than the intelligence quotient and that way i want to tell you that we have to do lots of transformations in education and especially in the classrooms so that is why we are talking of the classroom management i told you about the changes so whatever way you were handling the classroom how you were managing the classrooms the time has come that you have to change certain things See, we ask the questions right now. I am just telling you about the questions. I know you won't be able to answer due to 
how we are interacting digitally on this platform. So 20 years back, what was the teaching learning system and relationship between the student and the teachers? Pehle guru aur shishya ke beech mein kis prakar ka adhan kadaan tha? And today, how you are doing it? After 20 years, how will you do it? So then, I will tell you that today and tomorrow, we are going to be the facilitators. Our teachers' ki duty will be facilitator ki, that we are going to help them. We are not going to punish them. We should have very good relations with the students in the classrooms. And we are going to teach them in a very joyful manner. We have to make our lesson plans in such a way that the students are happy to learn it. Because as you know, I have told you that memorization is out. Rote learning is out. So your classrooms should be vibrant. So first of all, I will say these are going to be the 21st century classrooms where the students are really doing lots of activities. Actually, I was a principal at Bharti Vidya Peach. And then one of the teacher, she was punishing the students and the parents complained to me. And they said that the teacher is very strict and sometimes she's, you know, uh, scolding the students. Then I called that teacher and I asked her that why you are being so strict. Then she told me that I have got 50 students in my class and I want them to be quiet. Because if you will come on round, then you will say that my class is very noisy and then you will just call me for that. Okay. Then I told her, see, if your class is quiet, then I will call you that you are not doing anything in the class. But if class is vibrant and all of you are, you know, happy with the students, they are dancing, they are telling their poetries, they are doing some presentations and they are laughing, then I will say that your class is 21st century class. So that kind of classroom management, I want you people to do. So, we will show you one video also in which the students are being very rowdy and it is so difficult to just control the students. So, I will uh, show you that also but before that, I will tell you that as I am in Mumbai and I was, you know, in the beginning of my career as, uh, you know, I have done my doctorate in chemistry from IIT Roorkee. And I have done BA with a gold medal. And I have done my MA from Mumbai University. So, after doctorate, I got a job in a college for teaching 11th and 12th standard students in the church at the Church Gate College, KC College, where Mukesh Ambani ji, he had studied. And there were 120 students. It was so difficult for me to handle at the, you know, start of my career. Those 120 students, just imagine, 11th standard or 12th standard, they are very naughty students. And uh, they were just disturbing me in the class. And one day, as I came out of the class, then passers by the teachers, they asked me, you are sweating so much, you are so much nervous. What is the reason? Have you come out of the class? I said, yes. So, uh, on that, I will show you one video and that uh, the rowdies and then how the teacher, she has controlled them. So that way you will come to know that how we have to change ourselves. Now I will ask the entire people to show the video to the teachers. Is it possible right now? If it is possible, please show this. And the way we are, you know, talking and I will be telling you many stories today. I will be showing you the PPT also. I will be showing you the video also. That way you have to teach in the class. Lots of storytelling is required, you know. 
So we can start uh, that round. Hi, ma'am. I'm on to this side. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. But this is not the one which I want to show. It's a different. Uh, ma'am, the class of Rowdy short film. Short film. The other one where uh, you know two steps are there. You can see those two footprints. Uh, and she knows. Otherwise, yeah, you can show show it later on. First, ma'am, uh, is it this one? Yes, yes, right, right. So, ma'am, that was and the this beginning. This is the beginning of that video. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Please show it, Himanshu. So sure, nice to see you here and let our teachers. Yes, ma'am. Just see the class. Yes, that's right. One, Today is my first day and I will be taking all the science subjects, so let's start off on a good note. <laughs> Not that note, thank you. So let's start with a nice round of introductions. My name is Sakshi and I love working with young people. Uh, uh, my name is Anish. I was a topper last year. Uh, my IQ is 145 and I've got double promotion one. <laughs> My name is Andy. I like art. My name is Jesus. Okay, everyone is done except the last row number. Uh, Zara? Where is Zara? Zara is a zombie. Okay. No, no, okay. No, okay. No, ma'am, it's not audible. Till now, there were not, not any dialogues, but then I will tell the story. No, ma'am, this is not audible. It is not audible. Then I will tell you the story. See, it's a story. No, and, uh, you know, no, you the teachers. Okay, Mr. Himanshu, could you just do that? Uh, there is a teacher you can see, Sakshi. And it is her first day in the class. And you can look at those students, you know, they are, you know, they look so active and they are up to something and they want to test the teachers that how is this new teacher? She looks pretty, but they are going to make it difficult for her. And she asks them something and then they see how they are handling. So they are asking every student that you come on the stage and you tell about your, yourself like they are telling that introduce yourself so this girl you can read it that she is not able to come out of her silence and she doesn't come on the platform to just you know introduce herself then the teacher is appreciating her the teacher is saying that See, whatever you can do, it is good. So that way, even if, our, even if our students are naughty, we have to help them. So that is very important. And now what the teacher had done, she told a student for a creative pedagogy, a game-based pedagogy. So they are telling about, you know, that how, uh, you know, the... Newton's law, action is equal to reaction. So that physics law, they are experimenting here. So they are playing. But what's the problem with that? As I told you, that if the class is very active, then I'm going to appreciate it. So they are learning by doing, by enjoying, a joyful teaching, learning. This is what we people are trying to do that. So now they are talking See, I cannot get the exact, you know, dialogues, but I can tell you, so creative. So these things you have to give 
to your students to come on the stage to do some creativity and you know it is important that the students activity is more than the teachers activity and you can explain them each and everything so that way that kind of class should be there so now they are being friendly they are enjoying the lesson it is not the teacher is on the board writing some difficult things and then they are just going to those boring lessons we have to do simulations in the class we have to bring the exact thing into the class we have to do you know augmented reality and the virtual reality so now the zara the girl who is sitting quietly in the class the teacher is trying that she should come out of her you know cocoon and they are saying zara zara so that way because i heard it once you know so now she is coming and she is also doing something and everybody is appreciating and she is trying to read it so we have to encourage the students they are teaching learning in the classrooms the teachers have to do it and we have to you know be a facilitator a friend to our teachers and then she is talking about so good about the teachers so that way this you know rowdies they have become you know the favorites of the teacher because i think still you are not able to hear this but that doesn't matter we are the teachers we can you know adjust in any kind of situations so now the teacher is having tears in her eyes because first day when she came they never let her teach but now such a wonderful emotional you know uh, thing in the class and this is now please stop sharing please stop sharing the video yes ma'am okay so sorry the sound was not there but i have told you that this is the 21st century classroom and we have to do it that way and then i i was telling you about augmented reality and virtual reality so you can bring the you know dolphins to the class and you can bring anything to the class and uh, if you are teaching them animals like if it is a zoology lesson then you can bring the animals but they are virtual and if you want to show them some science experiment then virtually you can bring it to the class and you can explain to them because now we want the smart classrooms so you should have that augmented reality and the simulations simulations means when you bring the real time thing to the class like suppose you want to teach them about the car engine or a cycle cycle you know then you bring the cycle to the class and you can bring the cycle wala who can you know detach all the parts of the cycle and show him the each and every part to the students that these are the brakes these are the pedals these are the wheels these are the spokes each and everything you know you have to show them in the class then after that you just tell them how to connect all the parts again so that is called simulations and you can take your students beyond the classroom rules so now after telling you this background that you can really control the rowdies and you can enjoy you also enjoy teaching learning and let the students also enjoy teaching learning because you know the knowledge is press a button away all of you know they can get any information from the google or from other sources so what is your role now when you are in a classroom that you are going to make it you know so with full of excitement full of things to show to the children and full of performing arts music and everything in the class and now i will share the ppt with you i'll take you to some uh, you know a more uh, serious part of the classroom management but the message i have already given you that 
you have to make it a 21st century classroom where you are going to kindly i will request you to just enable the ppt please show the ppt yes ma'am just give me a okay. minute okay okay so let's make this time also today they will feel you know happy just sharing what we are just having right now please enable it the yes, ppt yes ma'am yes uh, okay. ma'am you're the one you're the one who's, who's going to share the ppt right okay uh, okay fine i will do that all right ma'am i'll just give you the rights enable ma'am you're mute yeah well. i'm muted yeah. okay now you're fine now you're fine oh, ma'am you again muted yourself no, yes you're, you're please give now. me the right to share ma'am you have the ma'am you have the rights you can share the ppt now okay it is there and now this i want to tell you our teachers that actually it is a very long training it is a 3 days training when we are offline but now we are doing it online therefore it is going to be different because when we are doing it offline then lots of activities are done by the teachers but as it is online and we don't have that three days time so i just tried my best to make it very interesting for you so it is classroom management it is the first part of the classroom management for our teachers the great teacher of the world of the blue planet and so vasudhav kutumbakam hamara pura sansar ek hi hai hum teachers were warriors and now see little bit of humor in the classroom management see just look at this slide i know the kids don't like you and they pick on you but you have to go to school you are the teacher see the teacher is not uh, you know enjoying to go to the classroom because the students are rowdy but then she has been told you are the teacher you have to go to the class so that is the humor maybe for the new teacher it happens but not all of us and then we have to see things telling whether we can you know make the students learn something in a joyful manner or not so that is very important now see understanding classroom management to a little bit we are going to be serious so it is the greatest challenge for a teacher that how they are going to teach the students in such a manner that they learn the thing they learn the concept now i will say that they should learn the concept teaching the concept is important so how you are going to teach them are you taking the teaching learning aids to the class because that is important you are having the blackboard i will not say that blackboard is outdated i will say that you have to add lots of other things also you have to have the smart board also you can show the videos to them in the class so that is going to be the aid and you know in the uh, 20th century or maybe the start of the 21st century we were using the radio also because in radio also they were giving lots of uh, you know some important uh, lessons and then the tv so tv was also being used as a teaching aid in the class and we are taking other things charts we are take, taking drawing to the class so that way we are using the you know teaching learning aids but right now the things are different we have got better things and you know we have got robotics we have got machine learning and we have got so many things so we should make use of all those things. so what happens 
the students they used to complain they heard that they are not finding the class very interesting so you have to make the class interesting so that is our duty and how you can make it interesting you have to use the different pedagogies storytelling pedagogies for example because with the story they learn very fast and you people also learn very fast when the storytelling is there okay let me tell you a story today of einstein all of you know about einstein he was a great scientist a physicist he was a german and he was working in the university and he was like us he was a professor a teacher so you know he was setting the papers also question papers for exams so what happened first year he had given a very good question paper everybody appreciated and the students just found it uh, not so easy to answer fine second year also einstein sir he had given the same paper question paper time actually he was such a great scientist nobody raised any doubts or anything they said okay he knows better what happened my dear teachers third year also einstein had given the same paper for three consecutive years the same question paper was repeated for the same standard okay now the supervisor all of you know about the exams if there is even one question typed wrong or one word typed wrong then you know the whole school comes to know and how much you know uh, movement in the school so now this supervisor she had gone to the einstein sir she said sir third year also the same paper is given einstein very cool and relaxed so why do you bother if the question paper is same see the questions are going to be same but the answers will be different now my dear teachers suppose i was asking you in 2016 or 2018 that whether we should give mobiles to the students or not then what will be your answer no right but today now in 2022 if i ask you the same question whether we should give mobiles to the students or not what will be your answer of course you'll say yes it is very important it is a tool through which the students are going to learn and for this pandemic two years you have done the online teaching learning so mobile is important so what i want to impress upon you my dear teachers that the questions remain the same but the answer change in the same way i will tell you that in the 21st decade this is a 21st decade here the questions may be the same but the answers are different so if i was doing the classroom management offline training with you 5 years back then i would be telling you something different but when i am telling you today in the 21st century and 2022 then my you know guidance to you is going to be different and i this is what exactly einstein way i am telling you that we have to make our class very active with lots of virtual uh, and augmented reality simulations flip classroom flip classrooms means what that see when your students are sitting in a class you teach them the concept and suppose you are teaching them about dairy industry now you take them to the dairy industry okay either virtual tour or just the real tour so don't teach them from the textbooks only have lots of activities in the class let the students you know just enjoy the teaching learning and that way only you know you can do justice see what is written in them they consider it as a source of indiscipline and hindrance when the students rowdy students are making trouble in the class you say it is hindrance no my dear teacher it is not hindrance it is their activity and you have to channelize this to the right direction that they learn it so this is what is important 
and now another human in education luck is when good classroom management skills meets a day when the disruptive students are absent oh my dear teacher i will accept it you know uh, i am talking of that college only when i was going to the class and those naughty children they were doing lots of you know trouble in the class and one of the student he used to you know sound like a siren you know siren and we could not do anything because the class was quiet and he was uh, doing that sound without uh, moving his lips or anything so that way we used to think okay, okay if these three four children are not in the class we will be happy so that that is what this cartoon says meaning of classroom management i know all of you know it but let's do it in a new way and i will say first about these educationist those who have talked about the classroom management walter doyle 1986 and merlin watson and laura watson 2003 here the research is being done, being done from 86 to 2003 it is still continuing because now the new ways of classroom management will be told to you to will, will be explained to you as i told you the meaning has changed the answers have changed the questions remain the same but the answers are same and i am telling you about the different answers and what was happening in 2003 they have defined classroom management as the actions teachers take to create an environment that supports and facilitate both academic and social emotional learning we understand it this is wonderful what they had given so a good environment not that kind of environment if the teacher is thinking that how she is going to cover the syllabus my dear teachers don't cover the syllabus you should uncover the syllabus i think you have understood what is the meaning of uncovering means that they should learn and they should know the concept they should not you know do the rote learning so uncover the syllabus don't cover the syllabus and then create a, such a happy environment okay uh, ma'am is going to teach us that topic in science or maybe you know in ssc about north america so if you are going to teach them about north america then you should have you know uh, something in the class the charts all of north america and the students bring all the food what is liked what is the favorite food what is the favorite dress of any you know geographical country so that kind of you know atmosphere if you create in the class then they will learn without even seeing the book that what they wear what they learn what they eat what are their performing arts dances like in assam bihu is there in punjab bhangra is there and in gujarat then during this garba is there so when you are teaching them ssc social studies about certain state then you have to do it mock mock practice in the class okay so that is going to be wonderful and they will never forget it and you can show some videos of the dances you can show them the videos of uh, the dishes which are eaten in punjab in gujarat in maharashtra so, so much variety you can really make your classes dynamic and you have to do it and when you make your lesson plan then you have to introduce these things and the classroom management has two distinct purpose it not only seeks to establish and sustain an orderly environment so that students can engage in meaningful academic learning it also aims to enhance students social and moral growth so three things are important first is the concept the teaching learning they should learn the concept by any of the method maybe by gamification maybe by some creativity and they should know that what is the society and what is what are the values 
the values are very important in life the values are the seeds which we plant in the schools the teachers they give values to the students and when the students go to the society they give the values in the society you know good people whom you have taught they are being you know wonderful human being they are helping others so that way a tree you know society from society to the country country to the world so our teachers are just doing that you know propagating the values so those values you have to give to the students in the class itself and then emotional question i have already explained to you our students should have the balance of emotions some students are sitting in the corner and they are not talking <coughs> some students are very good and they are complimenting the teacher see i was teaching in fourth standard and that is way back you know i've got a variety of experience teaching higher studies teaching you know small classes also he came to me and he said madam you are looking beautiful today i was so amazed and i was thinking that who has told this boy to compliment a teacher to make her happy maybe his father might have told him that go and give this rose to your madam so that way you know the students should be mixing up with each other because social you know interaction is very important all the students they should have the feeling of a team work because when they go for you know great jobs in the future then they should know the team work and they should be able to adjust in their social lives personal lives and their professional lives so you have to teach everything in the class when you just not the bookish knowledge but you have to integrate these values with your lesson maybe once a week you are going to just integrate aap apni jo padhai jo unko kar rahe jaisa maine aapko abhi sst ka example diya ki aapne class mein hi america banaya class mein hi assam jaisa kara bachcho ko enjoy karne diya to is tarah se aapko environment बताना है क्लास में आप ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड में भी ऐसा कर सकते हो अगर आपको मैडम क्यूरी के बारे में पढ़ाना है तो लेट अ स्टूडेंट हैव अ फैंसी ड्रेस शो दैट द स्टूडेंट इज कमिंग एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट द इन्वेंशन ऑफ मैडम क्यूरी टॉकिंग अबाउट द इन्वेंशन हाउ द एक्स रेज वर डिस्कवर्ड लेट द स्टूडेंट स्टॉप लेट द ऑडियंस ऑफ योर क्लास लिसन टू दैम यू जस्ट गाइड दैम facilitator i told you that now it is just the teacher is going to be a good friend and facilitator so that way you know if a scientist is talking on his own about his journey about his you know discovery through the students then the students are going to learn most if they are going to just read it and the teacher is explaining them like that from the book no no that will not be so effective the effect is if the students are doing on their own so this is what classroom management has two distinct purpose so i told you the academic purpose i told you the social purpose i have told you the moral growth which is written in this particular slide now let's move over to the next slide okay again human and education as a teacher the first thing you must learn is how to make your students behave for you right if they will love you and they will respect you see i said love you because it is a second home maybe the first home like gurukul you know the students are spending so much time with you in the class my own successful disciplinary formula is based on understanding excuse me from this determination and all the bribery i can afford see just uh, you know avoid this word bribery bribery means here that how you can uh, emotionally get attached to your students you know you want to help them so first of all they should love you they should care for you they should share with you their secrets their problems 
And then, you know, once you become their hero, then, you know, what kind of a wonderful teaching learning will take place. See, you are the heroes, my dear teachers. Shah Rukh Khan is not the hero. How he can be a hero or he can teach the educators or the students when he cannot give values to his own family. So that's what we said, that the heroes are those who are teaching good values. The teachers are the heroes and they are the warriors. So anybody, you know, is not more than a teacher for the school. You, are, you have to become their heroes. Other heroes which are shown in the movies, you should know that they are plastic heroes. They are just on the film. But you people have to be role model for the student, not these heroes. So how you can do it? That you have to think on your own that how you are going to do that. And then next. Purpose of classroom management. To create a supportive, see, support, you are supporting the students. You are not punishing the students. You are not saying anything bad. Comment on the student that you are weak in maths. You are not going to tell them you are not, you are not good. No, we cannot tell them. You, we have to tell them you have to be better than what you are and you have to be the best. You are the wonderful student. You have to tell them, even if they are troubling you, because they are still learning and you have to just support them in each and everything. You might have heard a story, it was taking rounds on WhatsApp, that there was a student in the class and no teacher liked him. But one of the teacher, she started, you know, helping him. And then later on, she came to know that she lost, he lost his mother and the father was also not able to look after the boy. So somehow this teacher, she kept on helping the student. And the student, you know, at later stages, he had given a perfume to the teacher and said, see, it is my mother's perfume. So that teacher had given him that much support and respect that because of the teacher, you know, one day he became a great professional. And then he invited the teacher and then told everyone that, see, I owe you so much, ma'am, because you have supported me. So these stories are very important. And as I am telling you through storytelling, you have to do that. <coughs> so that way, you know, respect should be there. For the students, see, uh, outwardly, <coughs> the students are respecting you. But it should be the inner respect, the affection, the love. And, you know, you might have met your students when they become something. At my age, you know, from somewhere someone comes and touch my feet and they say, you are my, you are my teacher, you are my teacher in that class or in that college. So that is the best thing about the teaching profession, that you never retire and you get respected, you know till the last breath. Now to promote the growth of students in terms of personal, social, and emotional values. See, I've already discussed so much about that to you. To increase students' motivation, learning, and to have excellent rapport with class and learners to have good rapport with each other. See, this is what I'm telling you. Being a 21st century educator and a master trainer, I'm just telling you all this, what is written here. And that is the classroom management. You have to touch the core of the, you know, this happiness and attachment. So you have to touch the hearts of the people, the teachers <clears throat> and learners to have good rapport. I told you when they are going to love you, they are going to respect you and they are going to remember forever our teachers and then uh, I heard that uh, 
uh, there was someone and uh, a big big name you know and he was an indian and for his great moment he invited his teacher and uh, then he had uh, you know taken the teacher by driving his own car the teacher sat at the back and he was driving a great man you know was driving the car for the teacher so that kind of rapport you should have to have excellent rapport good rapport with each other you know all the peer see peer are very important peer means their friends who are sitting with them in the class every day for years together maybe for one year two year and some students are in the same school so a good rapport should be there and then you have to motivate the student to inculcate positive attitude see the positive attitude is important because you are never telling them that you are bad you are telling them please work little bit more hard to become the best so you are never telling them not giving them any bad remark on paper see make it a point you should never give a bad remark to any one on paper and uh, i mean uh, i am being uh, so serious here even the person the judges who are giving life sentences to the criminals they are breaking that pen with which they are writing such orders so i am being so emotional so that is why i am requesting you dear teachers never give that kind of remark to your students they are so innocent and their their uh, egos are so fragile so you have to take care of all this and to inculcate positive attitude to make students more organized and not only in other courses of life also i have already told you about that that you have to you know make them you know social oh, i mean good for society so that is why we say that the whole you know country we are the teachers we are contributing to the people in the country we are making those great people even the nobel laureates the teachers are just molding them jaise ki ek kumhar ghade ko banata hai bahut sundar banata hai us tarah se the teachers we are like that you know and we have to take care of that whenever i remember in education what do i do i am a high stress teacher i mean a high school teacher so high school teacher why he is telling high school teacher because that time they are in adolescence the students are in adolescence and then they are having lots of energy and it is the duty of teacher to transform this energy into the positive energy so that is our duty see i am not talking of the syllabus right now i am just talking of these great things now we have to organize the students we have to organize the class so difference between classroom management and classroom organization we have to find that so classroom management is a set of strategies used to ensure productive harmonious and learning environment where the student learn on their own pace see now nep 2020 is giving flexibility to the students that they can do 12th standard and they can just you know wait for one or two year then they can go to the university it means that we have to give the time to the student that they can learn on their own pace later on i'm not saying today even the examination system will be such that certain number of students are appearing for the exam after 6 months maybe some of them they want to appear for the exam after 8 months so that kind of thing might also come and in whatever i am telling you today like so many pedagogies i have discussed with you and i have discussed with you uh, social uh, things and emotional things so that also as per nep and so the classroom management is a set of strategies used to ensure productive harmonious learning in environment productive means that they are learning by doing or whatever and 
then they are uh, you know harmonious that lots of good positive positive vibes friendliness affection towards each other so that kind of learning environment even if we are learning pythagoras theorem or something very different concept we have to give them in such a way that they enjoy doing it. for example in physics you have to take them to the sports ground you have to ask them to play the cricket and then the bowling so what is the muscular uh, you know movement of the hand and then what is the momentum of the ball and how much force is for the hitting a sixer ek chakka lagane ke liye kitne force ki zarurat hoti hai aur kis tarah ki position ho jati hai body ki so that we have to teach the students so you have to take them to the sports ground and this is what we are doing for navodaya vidyalayas when i am going for training to the navodaya vidyalayas then they are inviting some sports persons and then they are taking all these trainee teachers to the sports ground and then they are telling them we are when we are on a bicycle what is our you know a dynamic aerodynamic of the body and how the wheels are moving how much force so all that we can teach them in such a way so that is harmonious teaching learning now what is classroom organization is the way teachers structure time see now the things are different when we are talking of classroom organization classroom management we have talked enough so this we have to structure time space and classroom interactions to promote learning it basically focuses on the physical environment so the environment which we are talking which was the learning environment and now the physical environment you know the windows are big and you know natural light is coming inside and even whatever light is required and even the fans are doing well or maybe you know the wind is coming inside and it is a cool weather so that is going to be the physical environment and how the students are sitting what is the you know how you have arranged the chairs and uh, uh, that way you can promote learning and their chairs are comfortable not very comfortable but they should be comfortable to move about and the teacher has to move about in the class to see each and every person maybe a rowdy student or maybe a group of rowdy student so the physical environment so organization means the physical environment of the class okay now difference between classroom management and classroom discipline see now we have come to the discipline part and it is most important that our students are listening to us and they are following certain rules to be in the class so that rules i think a teacher will interact with the students and they together they are going to make some rules together because then you you tell the students okay when i'm asking you a question all of you don't shout just raise your hands and then i will ask you the question and then sometimes they have to appreciate peer ek ek bachcha stage par khada hai jo sports mein jisne ek medal liya hai ab aap kaise apni class ko discipline mein rakhenge hum kaise rakhte the aapko bataye we used to do silent clapping so that was the silent clapping and now when i go for my trainings and i tell the teachers don't just clap with that sound sometimes you can do but a silent clapping so that kind of a discipline you can teach your students and then they have to do their homework and then when it is a time for writing something then the pen is there and then they are not talking but they are raising their hands if they want to ask something so let's see what is there by management we mean the complex set of plans and actions see we have to be a little bit serious now because we are making the lesson plans we are making you know so many other things for the students 
you have to make lots of records, a result card, and then summative assessments, and then other formative assessment, and you are making so much of the record. Anecdotal records are also asked from the teachers, and then portfolios. So you have to make all those things, and you have to observe the students in a positive way. So the complex set of plans and actions which the teacher uses to ensure that the learning in the classroom is effective and efficient. So first thing, your lesson plan and the questions you are going to ask in the class and then the experiment you are going to show in the class, what kind of activity you are going to do on your own and the activities of the students, what activity the students are going to do in the class or if you are taking them to the library, then what they will be doing there if you are going to take them to the science labs or maybe to the computer labs. So what kind of discipline they have to follow there. So you have to talk to the students much in advance that how they are going to behave in a computer class and how they are going to handle the computers and in a chemistry class, how they are going to just handle the chemicals and the glassware because many accidents take place because I am a chemistry student. So I know that poisonous gases and I worked with the potassium cyanide to prepare selenocyanate. But then I was told that how to handle the potassium cyanide. We were working under the hood so that even the effervescence or the you know, that kind of poisonous gas was not coming out. So it is your duty that when you take them to physics lab, to such labs, or maybe when you take them for excursions, when they are traveling by bus, then what kind of rules or plans you are going to make? So that you have to make, you know, uh, discussing with your fellow teachers and discussing with the students also, and you can invite the parents also. Sometimes the concept of management is, broader than that of discipline, which often connotes a central goal of keeping students quiet in their seats. See, when they will be quiet, when the class is vibrant, they can understand everything and you are making the class very interesting. Magical, uh, you know, environment should be there. See, I was teaching the students uh, about the you know, earth, then what I, I asked people to put their black curtains and then I showed them the revolution and rotation of the globe. Just the light was on the globe and then we were speaking and there was a soft music. So that kind of environment, why don't you give to your students? Sometimes, maybe not every day. And then the discipline is the practice of teaching or training a person to obey rules or a code of behaviors in both short and long terms so that you have to you know uh, with your student you have to maintain that don't be a di dictator authoritarian be friendly and diplomatic i mean that way also i mean you can say sometimes authoritative also so it is going to be a you know blend blend as you know the blended learning has come so blended discipline should be there and the rewards should be there the punishment you, sh you can minimize you can minimize minimize the punishments then effective classroom managers place discipline in its proper perspective in the total instructions so the kind of uh, discipline which you want your students to follow in your uh, science labs in your library in your computer lab on the excursion during your uh, you know, morning prayers, assemblies, or maybe in the, during the annual function, you have to tell them in advance. So that is important and you have to make these rules. And importance of classroom management by now, because we have shared so much, you might have understood a lot about it. We are immersed in that. So establishing and sus sustains an orderly environment like uh, orderly it should be, that we have to care for each other, that how we are behaving and we are not disturbing the class. I mean, the students decreases negative behaviors, increase 
academically more academically engaged so when you are talking of these you know concepts in different sciences maths ssts and other things computers then you have to just give it to the student in a proper way it increases meaningful academic learning and facilitates social and emotional growth provide economy of time see time is very important and i tell you time is the most powerful entity on this in this universe i should say because it is very precious and you cannot buy it and no more time can be given to you elements of classroom management see we are doing it this way and uh, uh, there are four elements of cm it is classroom management physical spaces student seating arrangement black boards and bulletin board storage space teachers tray like teacher has to move about the class she has to go to the back and then she has to take round in each and every you know row so you should have enough space so that you have to see because you have to move about in the class then engaging teaching strategies see strategies are very important how you are going to teach the student a particular thing as i told you the physics and suppose you want to teach them the sound for teaching them the sound you know you have to bring what to the class music to the class the musical instrument to the class when you are teaching them resonance then lots of you know musical instruments sitar tanpura guitar violin ektara what not so you have to show them these instruments you know why because tomorrow they can go to the entertainment industry or maybe they can go to a musical uh, you know some kind of a big company who are making music and the keyboards you know now we are having keyboards so the students should know the magic of sargam these notes the uh, you know seven notes they should know each and every note that at what length of the wire we have to pick the wire in a guitar what length you know frets are there so these things you have to do you have to make a musical class when you are teaching them sound so that's what i am telling you that you have to do all this in the class and the students they should know where to keep their bags where to keep their books and which notebooks they have to bring to the class or books because you will give them a time table and then they are going to follow the rules and they are going to bring those books only don't make it a big bag you know lots of weight because now uh, you know they can have the books at home they can read at home because you have got so many other things in the class to show them and then engaging teaching strategies so that kind of strategies i told you as i told you about sound and about resonance and when you are going to teach them the light you are going to teach them sunset what is the color of the sky at the sunset red why it is red take them to a place where the sunset and you are getting so many you know on youtube these ideas and i have also taken i have also taken my videos uh, at the sunset on the beach of goa because uh, i was invited uh, by you know goa uh, navodaya vidyalaya so i told the teachers i was teaching the teachers there i was sharing the knowledge with them that how it happens you know you have to show them that the red light why it is a red light because it is having minimum frequency or whatever or maximum for whatever so those on set you have to take them there and show them the real thing you know the real time things you have to show to the students so this is what i am telling the strategies and then active learning so active learning the students are active you know in everything the classroom is so active and so good emotional and lots of artistic things you know a music is playing you know that way a wonderful classroom warm lots of warm and we can do it it's not that it is a theoretical thing 
it has become the reality of today as i am doing with you see i am not teaching you the ppt reading this line reading that line no i am trying to just inculcate in your knowledge these things and i am being so emotional so lots of emotions and the emotional balance is required here and then active learning strategies agenda energizers see energizer i am giving you energizers today i am giving you humor the cartoons in the education so these are the energizers you can uh, you know tell them a joke they can laugh in the class you can ask somebody to come and dance and we had seen in the uh, you know rowdies so energizers you have to give them to the students tell them a story i am i am telling you so many stories one more good story i will i am going to tell you then teachers behavior students behavior teacher students relationship see now the teachers day is going to be there i wish you all a wonderful teachers day and your students are going to really give you lots of cards and lots of love on teachers day so that relationship should be there now the rules routines and procedures so establishment adherence and consequences see first you establish certain rules you write them and the student will note down you know they have to note down because they have to remember later on but if uh, they can uh, just remember it and need not writing that is up to them and up to you and it is between you and your students nobody is going to interfere in that and adherence that they will not see rules are to be broken that line never forget <laughs> but still they have to adhere to the rules and then consequences suppose as i told you you have taken them to the science lab and if they throw chemicals like water or if they are not following the rules and some h2so4 it is spilled on their fingers then what is going to happen the consequences you have to tell them that if in a computer lab you are breaking something then maybe we'll call your parents and i mean that way i don't do it much but still you have to be strict and tell them that no nonsense is allowed in these places and in the bus also no nonsense while they are traveling and in the playground give them lots of liberty to play but still the rules are important whether it is a cricket it is billiards it is football it is swimming when you are taking them see i used to take my student for swimming to khar gym khana in mumbai i was uh, teaching for some time at uh, you know a uh, very good school where uh, ashwara rai has studied and then smita patil's son he has studied he was very small he was of the age of my son that time so there also you know these uh, you know children from bollywood like ashwara rai was the best and others the boys were little bit naughty their parents were being called and all that so anyway what i want to tell you that uh, we have to teach the students these discipline things and the rules because somewhere in like in a swimming pool the rules are very important and in uh, you know labs the rules are very important so consequences also we have to tell them. and they have to adhere to that that also is important and now the physical spaces see circular type you can have in you know just pre primary classes and montessori montessori they don't have you know those traditional seating system the students are sitting around the table and the teacher is also sitting with them and the blackboard is not required lots of activities are to be done by the by the students and the students sometimes you know they are just laying their own mat they are sitting on the mat and they are just thinking today i am going to study about flowers so he will go to uh, uh, an almira where the flowers are kept you know plastic flower you know so whatever they want to do they can do so lots of you know uh, movement should be allowed and then clusters clusters i like it very much when i go for offline trainings then i ask the management and the principal that you know 1.3 clusters you can see so that way when you are sitting 
then in a group i make the groups of maybe 10 teachers and then we give them some activity lot the charts are uh, they have to make some charts so on their table some uh, you know these colored uh, colors are kept and then sketch pens are kept so they are working together that way now. so clusters clusters that is important or shoe is also a u shape is good that the teacher is at the top corner you know you can see on the left corner and then traditional sit sitting system this is what we were doing but let's break away from this monotony and let's go to something you know more creative you can change you know with the styles see suppose you are having project work either you can take them to the library or in the class you can make groups you know these days the assessment will be on the these uh, you know projects assignments and you give it individual ass assignments and uh, projects or maybe the group so in group they can do it in the class or maybe in the library so the clusters will do and when presentation is given then horseshoe or u shape will do and when you are giving a lecture in the class then uh, you know traditional seating system is good so that way you have to keep on doing you know creativity and then diversity diversity is very important and uh, active learning strategies opening during the lesson and closure see uh, we are also doing that when we open how we talk we talk of uh, you know the resource person uh, you know what his qualification and resume and then when uh, in the now we are just coming to closure and uh, during the lesson then i was telling you stories and in the closure phase also i will tell you the story so that way i am going to make it and it is uh, a, you know not a blended way it is just online way so we are not able to interact but this is how we are going to handle but your lesson in the class you have to plan it that how you are going to start it you ask questions and then the student tell you which topic you will be doing today and then you give them something on the board and then you explain to them and then you give them some question and you ask them to draw a diagram you label it and closure you ask them some questions so that way uh, you should know that how we are going to do that and uh, opening phase break the ice ice breaking see when i go to the uh, these uh, trainings offline trainings i started going in mumbai to different schools then how to break the ice you know we make the groups and then we tell them that you make the groups uh, that uh, what is the name of your group or maybe you say animals suppose you are bunch of dolphins so your group is dolphin you are bunch of elephants and then you are bunch of maybe the the birds which are found in australia so maybe the kangaroos you can be the kangaroos so then they come in a group and then they become friendly then they become friendly and then you know it is such a good environment is there because it is their group penguins group so the penguin groups they uh, they will be on one cluster and that way you make the cluster so that way it is, we call it is ice breaker for the students also you can do and take a guess now how you are going to open it and lots of i mean how you are going to open your lesson that is very important and now teaching strategies oh my goodness lots of things are role plays case studies debates you can organize debates in the class games puzzles quiz have a quiz about certain scientific concept in a class and about maths about gk you are already doing but i am saying you are doing it for your chapters newton's law you can do the quiz and then the concept so two three groups and that way you know you have to do something new now this is the 21st centuries now closure phase gallery walk minute my uh, you know paper stump your partner one last question so that way you have to do 
components of effective classrooms. So that is very important. Com so now components, now I'm going to just close down already two hours, but let me do the closer with the components of effective classroom management. Three main components. So content management, conduct management, convenient management. So content management is lesson plan. You are planning, organizing, and structure of the class, right? Conduct management, behavior, discipline, and classroom rules. So that we have to do. So that we have to do. Close the door. Convenient management, facilitation of trusting and respectful relationship that promote optimal success for all children. So this is what we were discussing. Close the door. So these three things we have already discussed in the classroom. That is going to be the first part. And uh, uh, let me close it in a proper way. So this, uh, I will uh, talk to the people, entire people. So already, I think two hours we have completed, whether to go further or whether teachers have some activities. Teachers have some activities. So uh, yes, Bataye, Dumanshu. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so we have, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have certain activities which uh, ma'am has given us. So we'll be quickly sharing those activities with you. And uh, uh, just give me a second. I'll quickly share all the activities. Uh, in the chat, I'll share a Google form. So you can do those activities. Only one story I will say uh, as a closer. If yes, you'll give me that much time. Already has given me so much time. No problem. And then they can go for Google. Uh, forms and uh, they will just know what activity Himanshu is going to give them today which I have suggested okay yes. so now uh, I am closing you know stop sharing I am going to close today's session with a story and uh, see uh, what happened I am talking about an, of an old man you know so it was a very cold night and he was shivering. And then he has entered a village and he started knocking the doors. That let me be in. It is very cold. And then next door, Dusra but then she shut the door and she said, no, I, I will not let you in. So that way, you know, later on he was very much disappointed. And then he found a small corner in the village under a roof. All of a sudden, beautiful woman was riding that horse and as soon as she came to the place where the old man was sitting, she said, just all the doors of the village started opening. Sorry, Darwaji Kulni Shuru Hoge or Sablo Akar was Sundar Yuti Kicharatam bad game. And she started telling the stories. And one hour, two hours, three hours, young children, all the people were sitting there. And they were listening to the stories. And after that, after two or three hours, the lady said, okay, now you can go home. Now I'll come again some other time. And then she said, okay, now you can go home. Now I'll come again some other time. And then, you know, everybody had gone to their homes. No one had no idea. The stories were very good. It was very good. लेकिन सब लोग चले गए। अभी ये बूढ़े आदमी इतनी देर से देख रहा था कि क्या हो रहा है। Then he got up and he gathered his courage and he said, अरे आप कौन हैं? जरा आप मुझे बताएंगे कि आप कौन हैं? 
शी सेड यू डोंट नो मी अरे मैं तो कहानी हूँ आई एम द स्टोरी सो यू यू के नॉट रिकोगनाइज मी आई एम ए स्टोरी मैं कहानी हूँ फिर उस युवती ने उस बूढ़े व्यक्ति से कहा कि आप बताएंगे कि आप कौन है इस एड आई एम नॉलेज मैं ज्ञान हूँ और मुझे तो कोई लेना ही नहीं चाहता मैं सब तरफ जाता हूँ इतने दरवाजे खटखटाता हूँ आई गो टू दीपल बट दे डोंट एक्सेप्ट मी देन स्टोरी से डोंट वरी अरे आप क्यों परेशान होते आइए आप मेरे घोड़े के पीछे बैठ जाइए कहानी के माध्यम से और क्रिएटिव पेडेगोलॉजी के माध्यम से हम ज्ञान बांटेंगे ज्ञान का आदान प्रदान करेंगे और फिर देखिए कितना अच्छा हर कोई सुनता है सो so, ज्ञान के अगर आप कहानी के माध्यम से ज्ञान का प्रचार और प्रसार करेंगे तो देखिए आपके क्लासरूम्स कितने अच्छे बन जाएंगे सो दैट्स माय स्टोरी एंड नाउ आई जस्ट से थैंक्स टू ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑल द वंडरफुल टीचर ऑफ दिस ब्लू प्लान विच इज कॉल्ड अर्थ and the warriors of you know education and you are a wonderful audience and i felt so happy talking to you and i give you all the best wishes and blessings for you and your family thank you very much entire for giving me this great opportunity okay platform is yours the pleasure is all our ma'am uh, thank you so much for actually providing us with this lovely insights and everything <coughs> to all the people who uh, thank you so much for attending the workshop as well it was uh, lovely hosting this workshop uh, ma'am to be very honest uh, this was just we also understand that you know um, this so you because of your immense knowledge that you have uh, so time uh, restraints are there and everything So, so this is my classroom management first part that also please tell exactly you. this was just first part ladies and gentlemen uh we are working with ma'am uh to bring out more such series so we will keep on holding these workshops so another part of classroom management will come very soon wherein more activities are there i have shared the activities in the chat box and i've also shared a spreadsheet which you will fill down and rate yourself so please do and email us on himanshu@entap.in i'll just <coughs> i'll just message you in the chat as well just do the activities and message us email us the result on himanshu@entap.in i have messaged my email id in the chat uh, rashmi ma'am thank you so much for being such a wonderful person that you are uh, <laughs> so and your immense knowledge hope to see you again very soon thank you bye bye take care thank you thank you all for listening and joining to the workshop as well thank you recording stopped <coughs>